Has your neighborhood suddenly had an increase in package theft? Are you just curious on what kind of odd creatures they might be outside wandering the streets in your neighborhood? Or are you just curious on who's knocking on your door if it's worth you getting up from watching a football game just to answer the door and find out it's a complete stranger selling you magazines? If you're looking for a doorbell camera, in fact, you came to the right video. Lately, I picked up the Skybell HD. Now let's get to the unboxing. The packaging itself on this device is really nice. Uh, the doorbell, small, compact. The only downside is it, it does look like it's made out of aluminum, like a brushed stainless steel, but it's really plastic with an aluminum coating. Kind of disappointing, but it's really nice and small. And it does come with instructions with pictures and stuff, but I much, I recommend just downloading their app because they actually have a video instruction guide that's not too long of a video but it's really straightforward step by step it's pretty much covers everything or you can just watch my video other stuff that comes included in this package they do supply you with the tools you'll be needing for this install and I was looking at this thing I was like what is this a pen but then I realized it's a actual screwdriver that you just attach over here and it has a flat head on the other side which is kinda nice or you can just use it as a deadly weapon now other things does come with this thing, so your concrete wall and the back bracket itself. As you can see there's two screws on one side, that would be where you'll be connecting the two wires. So now let's get to the install. Now admittedly I was using the tools they provided you with, but uh, honestly it's best just to use a power tool. It'll save so much time and it's less of a struggle. Because that screwdriver they gave you it has no grip whatsoever. And once that out of the way, just pop the doorbell and you'll see the two wires that you need to connect. And once you have everything threaded through, the uh, screws holding on the cables, you're pretty much good to go. Now you just got to mount the bracket onto the wall. Once everything's connected, the doorbell is nice and secure against the wall. You want to go ahead and launch the Skybell HD app. And at this point, the doorbell right now is at a solid color. But the application is going to ask you to go to the Wi-Fi. On your cell phone, select the Skybell HD, and once you do that, return back to the application. And now, as you could tell, it's flashing colors. When it's flashing colors, that means the application pretty much will take control of the setup and do it all for you. Only thing you have to do is connect it to the Wi Fi and enter your password. Once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. Now, for the image quality, I recommend messing with this setting because uh, it all varies on your Wi Fi connectivity and also your internet provider. But this will be the resolution that you'll be selecting to see the live feed footage at your doorway. But at the end of it all, footage captured out of this doorbell will always be 720p. Now when it comes to filming at night, this thing actually captures footage really well. Like it doesn't have any like the BS night image mode that doesn't look that great and makes everything black and white. This thing uses a LED light that illuminates the background allowing you to see the person that's approaching your doorway a lot easier and clearer. And then if you dig deeper in the settings, you're also able to change it to any color you like, which is kind of cool. So yeah, it pretty much has built-in RGB lights. Also, this does have a built-in microphone and speaker, so whenever someone's at your front door, you can also hear them and see them on the app. And if you want to talk to them, just hold it to talk, and you could talk to them. It's kind of neat. Alright, in conclusion, if you're considering looking for a doorbell, i say this is one of the best options out there. No, no fees whatsoever. You don't have to worry about monthly fees or anything. This one pretty much connects to the internet. It'll save your storage for up to seven days. So if you need to go back and look at an event that occurred, you have seven days to do so. You also download it to your smartphone and you can save the clip for a future purpose. Pros and cons. This doorbell so far seems like it does everything it claims it could do. Two-way communications. The microphone speaker is really good. The build quality, the style, very modern. Cons. Outer shell is not a brass or aluminum texture. This feels like it's really easy to break. Someone could easily punch it, snap it, or just yank it off and run. Compared to my legit doorbell that had a brass copper feel to it that is really hard to really like mess with it. That's just mainly my only con I have against it. All right. Hope you enjoyed this little clip of my impressions, review I guess you could say, about this little uh, doorbell. Really nifty. 
If I helped you in any way on summarizing what doorbell security you should invest in, leaving a like will be awesome. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you want to follow me on social media, feel free to do so. And good morning, good evening, and good night. Whatever time you're watching this, have a good one.